You know what? Shame is real. Shame is something that we all deal with. Through our lives, people have imputed those words of, you know what, you're a loser. Uh, you don't have a father, you're ugly, or you're so stupid. Shame is not just about making a mistake. Shame is the statement that you are a mistake. And there's no good news. There's, doesn't, there's no good news. It doesn't matter how many times they tell you, hey, you're not guilty. Again, shame is not a thought. Shame is a feeling. So if you're unclean, so if, you, if you're just dirty all the time, if you feel naked all the time, and there's no promise or word of forgiveness that can really penetrate your shameful heart, is there any hope? Yes. In fact, it comes with a great call. Jesus, as the one and only Son of God, as He's walking on the shore of the Sea of Galilee, He's walking and He sees his disciples and he tells them to follow me for he says I am better for the lies of shame that I've given you an identity God enacted a plan that he would turn that shame to honor where in Christ he calls us his children and if children then we're heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ and so those of us who who have felt that unbelonging I want you to know that you're a fellow heir that is, as God says in Ephesians chapter 1, He says that He's given us all blessings in the spiritual places. Of he chose us. He adopted us as sons and daughters. That He redeemed us, that He has forgiven us. He says, follow me, because He is far better. He forgives, He restores, He makes all things new. Have you followed Jesus? Lay down the shame, lay down the guilt, lay down the fear, and heed the call of Jesus. Follow me, our Father saying, I'm better.